Hello and welcome. Recently I uh, got a new computer set up at home and I actually just got done editing my first YouTube video with it. Um, and there's one thing that I ran into with this setup that I know other people have ran into as well. And I wanted to address it in a video that would be short and sweet and hopefully it'll help someone else that was in the same situation that I actually currently am right now. So I'll give you a rundown of my setup first. Uh, what you're looking at behind me is a MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M2 Pro uh, processor in it. And then I've got two 28 inch Samsung 4K monitors here. And I have the OWC Thunderbolt dock uh, that is connecting everything together. And the issue that I'm having is that the resolution on the MacBook itself is really good. And the capability for the resolution on both these monitors is really good. And I cannot get to 60 hertz refresh rate on both monitors at the same time and things just don't look right like the 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 clarity of the screens is not good and there's some flickering and things like that going on now what i did when i bought this whole setup i went and got cables that went from thunderbolt or usb-c to hdmi and that was the input that i selected on these monitors because these monitors have two hdmi ports and also a um, uh, display port and I wanted to reserve the display port so that if I get a PC tower, which was my, my part of my grand plan, was to get a PC tower to work separately from the MacBook Pro. And uh, I, so I wanted to leave those display ports open, which is why I went with the HDMI cables. I did a lot of reading after I started to have this issue, and I found that there were some workarounds. Um, I downloaded the EasyRes app. I was able to get 60 hertz to both screens if I was at a lower resolution. But I want to use these to the max max potential of the 4k so uh, let me show you what's going on here I don't know how well this is going to actually show uh, the screens on the video here but basically here's my laptop um, and you can see if I zoom in on the specs here what version this is it's the m2 pro 16 gig um, early 2023 is what they call it and then I have the Thunderbolt dock and then here I have the dual monitors and um, the reason that I went with this dock that I did is because it can charge as well as provide signal to the monitors and do everything else. Now, I did read somewhere that somebody said if you didn't have the actual power supply for the MacBook on the Mac that there wouldn't be enough power to the graphics to make it to make it function properly. Well, that wasn't the case either. I, I did run the, uh, the MagSafe charger and also if I close the lid, I still end up with the same thing here, but I'll show you. Um, basically what I'm stuck with, if I go to system settings, here's the built-in display, here's the options that we have, here's the first monitor, uh, you can see all the options that we have here, down here we got options for 60 hertz or 30, and then we go to the other monitor, and we have the options here as well. Now the interesting part is that right now it currently picks and choose, sometimes these monitors don't have the same resolutions available um, as each other. and the reason that I got 60 hertz on both of them now is indeed because I am using Easy Res. But if I jump up to, let's say, I want to do 4K, we'll do, and we'll do 4K. Now we'll see what this is doing to me. And here you can see that one of them is 30 hertz, and I cannot change it otherwise. It might have done it to both. Let's see if this one says this one is 60. So. It'll always let me do one of them at 60 hertz, but not two of them at 60 hertz. So here I've got the new cables. Um, you can get them from anybody really, but these ones I got from Amazon. Cable Matters was the brand. Um, USB-C to DisplayPort. USB-C to DisplayPort, or Mac calls it Thunderbolt. This um, was the same cable basically, but it was the HDMI. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to swap these cables out and see if that makes a difference. Okay, the cables are swapped out now, and at first glance, it kind of looks the same. Um, you can see it defaulted to uh, 1080, and I honestly, I didn't even shut the computer down or do anything else. All I did was um, <laughs> unplug the old HDMI to USB-C cables from the monitors, and I plugged in the DisplayPort ones. So let's try here and see what happens if I go to... Um, this is where I liked it, 1440. Okay, that changed the one on the right. 
Now we'll change my center one. And look at that, both of them. Well, this one's 60 hertz. This one's 60 hertz. All right, that's good news. Let's try it at 4K. All right, the one on the right just went to 4K. This one went to 4K and 60 hertz. Let's click on this one. 60 hertz. That is awesome. And the clarity is much improved. But I'm not going to use uh, 4K most of the time. So I'm going to put both of these back to this uh, 2560 by 1440. I like that. And I also like to use the center monitor as the main display. So what I'm going to do there is click that on main display. Of course, that took my display control panel away. But now I got the MacBook. I can use if I want to. I've just been kind of running like Spotify over here. And then that way I can use this for workstation. So, problem solved. And I have to say, I did not think it was going to be as simple as a cable. Changing the cable, I couldn't believe that. When I was reading things, I thought, no, there's no way that just swapping the cable. It's 2023, HDMI, USB, it should all be, it should all be easy to um, configure itself, right? I thought that maybe these monitors aren't necessarily meant to work with Mac or something like that, or the calibrations could be wrong in the system. So, you know, there's a lot of variables there. I didn't get the Apple Studio display. I got these 28-inch 4K monitors because they were a great value. They were on sale for $230 a piece, and that's a lot of working real estate. Now, I have to say, this just looks so much better. Like, the color depth, the quality, the, the refresh rate, the mouse isn't jittery anymore. Uh, going from these HDMI cables to the mini, or not mini display port, but to the display port cables, that made a huge difference. And even using Easy Res with these, I was able to force 60 hertz and force the resolution, but it still didn't look right. So basically, I just had to swap these cables out and um, now we're back in business. My office is a little bit of a mess because this was not meant to be an office, but it is gonna be an office. So in future videos, I will be remaking these walls and completely redoing my setup. But this is just the base of it, the start of it, and I ran into this issue and I thought that if, if I could make these changes and it helped me, I could do the same and hopefully help someone else. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.